And hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Stardew Valley. I am Bogmar, and look, it's the Feast of the Winter Star. Oh, what a time, what a time. Let's see. So, don't uh, dig around in people's trash. That's their great advice for everybody. So yeah, that'll be, you know, it's, it's fake Christmas. The important thing is that there's no one uh, waging a war on the, uh, a war on uh, Feast of the Winter Star. So that's nice. Hey guys. So I'm gonna leave these, well, I'm gonna go say hi to them every day. But I'm going to leave them until the start of spring, and hopefully, hopefully, that'll give me the cheese that I need. Hmm. I may need... Looks like I'm going to need more. Hmm. Let's see. To make another uh, copper, stone, wood, and uh, copper. One of you, and one of... There we go. Five of them. Woo. You'll also notice that I turned in my uh, my pickaxe. I'm going to make it a golden pickaxe. Uh, a very underrated video game. Oh, that was that was a terrible joke. But I stand by what I said. Golden pickaxe. So I think I'm missing a... Yes. I need to make one more little footpath there. Keep seeds from ending up in that thing. Anyhow. Um, to explain the joke. In case you're too hip. To understand what the heck I was talking about. There was a game called Golden Axe. See? And uh, a pickaxe is like an axe. And that they both have the word axe. And that, children, is how I killed the joke. Alright, perfect. So, I've got... You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give Jazz, who's our special secret Santa gifty person today, or this, this year, we're gonna give her the greatest gift of all. A salad. Yes, a salad. Actually, the only person... There's one person who does not like the gift of salad, and that's Willie. Yes, the fisherman, he, he likes seafood salads. Let's see, today's time to thank for this year's good fortune. Forget my worries. Yeah, I'll try. Hi, Jazz. Not yet. Not yet. So excited to win the ice fishing competition. Poor Pam. Beautiful tree. So they are mother and daughter. I'll let you figure out which is which. Good afternoon. Yes, tell me the legend of the winter star. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some people claim that the mysterious fruit note of this star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Alright. Hi, Bogmot. Hey, Maru. Nothing like piping out feasts on a cold winter's day, huh? Yeah, fair enough. I do enjoy my feasts. Sales have been phenomenal, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Too much nog. Oh, Caroline! <laughs> uh, I met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? Never seen anything that could be explained with science! Oh, Shane, you need a new jacket, buddy. Happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Oh man, way to bring down the mood. It's fine art making candy canes because it's far away the best ingredients. I believe the key ingredient is sugar. It is a little chilly. Telling you about his artisan candy canes. Yawn. Oh, it's definitely be like that. 
Fish with some soups or Hamburg! Oh, Hamburg. I wonder if Hamburg is, is copyright. Uh, I'm not freezing, no, thank you. Hello. He looked a little concerned. Hoping for a new camera. What are you hoping to find? You know what? I would like a jug of spiced mead. Ooh, that sounds nice. I'll give you a taste of my mead. Good time of year for a diet. Thankful for the guitar. Yeah, it's good to be thankful for things. Spending time with the family is tiring sometimes. Did you join her family table if you need company? Oh, that's very kind of her. We're going to another tool set this year. Sigh. This is the interesting thing, though. You don't see this in a lot of games, right? So, that's her son. And notice the, the skin tone difference between Maru, Sebastian, Demetrius, Robin. Uh, a remarriage, it looks like. With two kids so their step-siblings. It's not a lot you see this sort of thing. Alright, well I'm going to go give Jazz her gift. Here you are, Jazz. A salad! Salad! Thanks! Haha! <laughs> I'm the best gift giver ever. Ooh, Alex, what do you have for me, buddy? Gasp! Gaspity gasp! Hi, so I'm your secret gift giver this year. Open it. What's in the box? What's in the box? A piece of jade. Aww. It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. Ah, don't worry, buddy. I appreciate it, and I will sell it. Because that's what I do on the feast. Oh, we got one more person to talk to. Can't forget Linus. Turn in, but I don't think I'm welcome. I'm pretty sure people around here are incredibly accepting about the strange homeless man who lives literally just at the overhang looking down at their house. Yeah, yeah I'll leave. Mm -hmm. And it's not regifting if you just sell it. <laughs> I'm selling my mayonnaise. Yeah, see? Void me. A thick black paste that smells like burnt hair. It's surprisingly valuable. And the goblins love it. Alright, sleepy time. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I believe it's farming? Yeah, 275. It's not as much valuable as duck mayonnaise, mind you, but, but still pretty solid. <laughs> that was the 26th of winter. We're almost into spring again. Isn't that amazing, everyone? Time flies. And it's Clint's birthday. Oh, Clint. Oh. Oh, I gave Jazz all of my salads? That's terrible. Uh, hello. I'll make a fish stew in albacore. Sort of season. Get him an albacore, eh? Alright, I'll get you an albacore. Albuquerque. Alright, Clint. Don't uh, don't be depressed, buddy. I will get you a salad. There we are, I got my eggs. Go pet my pets. Oh, I know, guys. There we are. Plus, it's Friday, of course, which means a chance at a uh, a fancy nifty. Maybe we can't get it all the time. Rare good. From the traveling merchant who sells all sorts of wondrous and mysterious things. I'm at 23 grand. Very close to being able to afford either a, a building upgrade. Ooh, a walleye. I need one of those, actually. I'll take it. Uh, no, that's all I need. Yeah, very close to 25 grand. Hmm. 
Though honestly, I think I need to buy a couple more fruit trees first. I've almost run out of time in the season. And I would like two more fruit trees. If you can get four fruit trees going at at, at, at a time, it's it's a good way to keep uh keep your wines whiny. Oh, I see some holly up there. La, la. See, and there's the bus stop, the prehistoric tool, which I believe we've already turned in once. Yes, we have. Yeah, they will put me back, I think, 10 ish grand, probably? Yeah, probably 10 ish grand. Still an albacore. Pretty sure there's like old books. Looks like smarter than I ever was. Oh. Well, oh, probably. Willie wants some tuna. Hmm. Get to keep the fish and get some money, but it doesn't make him happy. I'm less concerned. So. Orange sapling. And a peach sapling. There we go. Yep. Ten grand. Expensive. Hey, what is my quest right now? Oh, yes, the fish stew. Bring Gus an albacore. Um, what kind of fish is an albacore? Salmon albacore. First, temperate edges were cool and warm water meat. That sounds like a river fish. <laughs> Definitely sounds like a river fish. But it might be an ocean fish. I'm not sure. Oh, it's, hello. Friend of the Linus, he lives in a tent up on the mountains. Ah! I call, I, I, yeah, you know what? I think we're friends. There we go. The golden pickaxe. Yeah. What was I going to do? Oh, yes. I remember exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> Boiled beets? No, oh, that's not so bad. Could be worse, buddy. Could be worse. Uh, things are pretty good on the farm, Mayor. Now that you ask, got no real complaints. Um, I would like a prismatic shard. Would have been a good Christmas gift. Rusty spoon. Oh. Apparently Gunther has no rusty spoons. Poor guy. <laughs> there we go. Nope, that's not the one. It's night fishing. Yeah. We're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go visit Gunther right now. And then I'm gonna try to do my fishing. I think. Or, or, I test out my new axe. That is also pretty tempting. Hmm. Choices, choices. Donate to the museum. There we are. Hurrah! Actually reminds me. So yeah, people, you know what? I am a pretty popular guy. Got a lot of fours, some threes, some twos. Uh, some people aren't super big fans of me yet. But they'll come around. They always come around. All right. Let's hit the quarry first. Yeah, you, know, you, you gotta you gotta break in an axe of the pick variety. Nothing good though. I was really hoping for I don't know a uh, 
diamond ore or something like that. Ooh, that's a good point. Let's try go to the mines for a moment. Let's go to floor 100. 110. Oh, one swing now. Excellent. Much faster. Still take it should I believe it'll still take two swings if I'm at um, if I'm in the uh, the skull cave for to make one swings in those places you need you need to get your hands on an iridium axe mm. plus I do need to kill these bats now that I think about it. so this this is pretty ideal. Yay, I killed all the bats! I've killed all my bats. I don't need to kill more bats, but I'm killing more bats. You know what's a great game? Munchkin. Wonderful card game. One of their expansions. It's called uh, Munchkin Bites. It's all about, like, monsters. You know, your, your typical monster, like, 80s monster type things, right? So, you know, your cheesy vampires. and Not sparkly vampires, but just cheesy vampires. That sort of thing. And uh, part of the thing they've got in that game is is the uh, a variety of different kinds of bats, fat bats, and bat bats, and aluminum bats, and cat bats, and all sorts of bats. And I don't kill any more of you. I'm on the hunt for valuable nodes. Ooh. Emeralds never hurt. See, the thing is, I'm not sure you remember me reading it, but the deeper you are in the mine, the more likely it is that you're going to find a diamond node. Hmm. Yes, valuable diamond nodes. Hmm. And I'm always a fan of diamonds. Also, two swings on the on the uh, the iron um, not the iron the the gold deposits. Not bad. Obviously, the less you have to swing, the more uh, energy you, you retain, right? And the less time you take up. Because we're busy people doing busy lives. And yeah, I think we're gonna ooh, a strange bun. I think we're gonna call it here. Thank you for watching, though, and. Uh, we will. Ooh, it probably could probably be spring next time I see you all. So, see you soon for that.